Welcome everybody, my name is Mr. Llama. Today I am bringing you Winning with Ease, and this is going to be PvZ defending against the six pool into the hatch with spines all in. So this was kind of a user requested video. Um, I think Cats was doing this all in, and it's, see, it was very strong uh, from what I heard, and then when I actually played against it, I was like, wow, this does a ton of damage, um, and definitely needs to be something that Protoss players can look out for if they do get seven pooled. So, of course, I'm going to just go down here, drop the pylon, but while uh, the game is getting set up, I'll go ahead and do my new subscriber shoutout. So we have... Nerever 2, Ponage Nation 1, Daniel D. Jr. 412, Yeti on Duty, Fry Size 712, Frank Spina, Ebran 421, Incinerate 1122, Cornex Zephyr, East No, Kevokma, Re Espasen, Doughboy334, You Are Mistaken, Daniel Weber, PDR Laguna, Jemiah W., Sean. Playing them Conan's more than 88 and Matthew Weiser, so thank you very much guys for subscribing. I do appreciate it and hopefully um, you get used out of my videos or you just like the sound of my voice as one person stated in another game. So either reason is completely acceptable. But as you can see I do get in and I scout, oh okay he's going for 6 pool. So I'm still going to throw down the forge anyways. And the reason is because there's not really any other move I can do at this point besides throw this down, I feel like. I, I won't have enough money to wall this off as well as have um, enough money to get like a cannon up before he can just get his lings over here and start killing all this stuff off. So just throwing the forge up and then immediately throwing down this pylon in the back of my base just right here so that I, of course, can just drop a cannon here in my main which will go down right now. So as soon as that forge finishes, you drop your cannon, and he will be sending over his lings now. Of course, I want to really quickly look at the income tab and say, oh, hey, look at this. We are at 17 workers, going to be going up to 18 workers right here. I feel like he did a 7 pool. He might have gone for 7 pool. Either way, um, very similar. So here, just going to do a tiny bit of, uh, of micro here with just the mineral walking. And that's just going to happen until my photon cannon gets up. So I only killed off one probe right there, or uh, one ling, which is totally fine. And so now he's going to come down here and, of course, snipe off the pylon and snipe off the forge. In the meantime, I'm going to get another gateway and, of course, another pylon because I don't want to get supply block. See how I'm going to get a tiny bit supply block? It'll actually be fine because I get that 21st probe in, which is always nice to do. Um, so now, you know, when that finishes up, my pylon's going to be finishing up, and I can just continue pro production right from there, pretty much. Right from there. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, I will continue it. I'm also going to get a gas, as well as rebuild my forge. Now, the rebuilding of the forge is very s smart to do, and uh, it's something that some players do not go for, but if you do watch a lot of, like, like when I've gone against... Um, some higher up players and stuff, or if I'm just playing practice games, and if I ever seven pool, just you know, test testing it out, trying out different things. I you will note, also note, gain the cyber next core, um, that a lot of them do rebuild that forge. Number one, you can get that upgrade, but number two, it can help if they are going for an all in. Because right now, I don't know what he's doing, right? I don't know if he has, if he's got like 15 workers back home, 16 workers, or if he's got a lot of lings. I I'm sitting in my base, I've just got this cannon. So, you know, some people like to go into like a Ling Baneling sort of all in where they try and just blow up all your probes or whatever it is. Uh, so, you really want to be able to be sure of what exactly is going to be happening. So, I'm going to start getting out my plus one upgrade. I'm going to start getting out another, my Zealot right here and trying to throw down additional gateways. So, I have my Zealot, which I can then use to kind of go check out what's going on. And here I can see, okay, that's a decent amount of Lings. So, I know that he has made extra rounds of Lings at the very least. So, because of that, I can throw down the second cannon. Very important for having that forge, right? So, now I can pull a couple of probes and Zealot because four Lings will beat a uh, zealot and so you're going to have to sometimes pull a couple probes with it but remember you can pull probes you're up 26 probes to eight workers of his um, so the proxy hatch for him has gone down of course I haven't seen this whatsoever and I'm trying to pretend like I'm I'm trying to not scout this right I want to make this as general as possible if you do scout it you can start pulling some stuff earlier you can throw some can downs even earlier but you know what I haven't scouted it finally just right now I will see the creep and I will see spine colors going up so the first thing 
I'm really going to do is I have my warp gate research going down as well. Very important to grab that as quick as you can. I have another zealot out right here. I'm actually going to come out and try to just simply engage this. And it's okay to lose probes. I want to be able to kill off a lot of these lings right here. So I lose a, a decent amount of probes right there, right? Uh, so you're like, oh no, that could be it. But really, I want to stall as long as I can to try and get these cannons up right here. Because these cannons going up will be a huge victory for me if, as then I can start focusing down this spine crawler right here. So it looks like both of these will be finishing up. He's going to have the spine crawler finish up for him as well. And he does have the advantage right now in the spine crawler versus cannon war. So I'm going to send my zealots forth to try and do a little bit more damage right here. And he's just going to barely win that battle. But it's okay because he still did not get in. And having that cannon right there to do some damage was really helpful. As well as having the cannon right over here. So I want I, I want you to know. You're going to be like, oh no, you lose this game. You just lost so many probes. No, I don't. I'm up 13 to 4. He had to bring 5 drones up for these spine crawlers that he had. Or 4 drones, excuse me. He was at 8 workers. So you have to remember that if he's going to have that many lings with it, this is so, so, so very all in. It's okay to pool and lose 16 probes, whatever it is. How many workers he killed? He killed 14. So now he's going to go ahead and start pushing forward, trying to pick off this gas right here. I have warp gate done, so I'm just going to be chrono boosting, and I can just start warping in zealots. Warping in zealots. And you have to remember that his production is going to be very, very minimal at this point as he only has the four workers back home. So now I can just continue to warp in. All right, I've got four more zealots right there. Or three more added in. So now I've got a nice new composition, and there is no rush. Notice how I'm just sitting here, and this is just taking some damage, right? There is no rush whatsoever to try and force this. Um, so as you can see, he's starting to burrow now, so I'm actually now going to start pushing out. I know he doesn't have too many links left, as I did pick off a lot. Once again, going to start pulling a few probes, just in case, right? I have the ability to pull these probes because I have more workers than he has back home. I know how much or how all in this is for him right here, so it's totally fine, and that's going to be it. I'll be able to clean it up, and he's just going to simply have to GG out of the game. So it's a very... I'd say it's a medium hold for sure. I made it look a little easier in this game than it actually can be. Um, things to really note, you want to be quick on just getting get your gateway down with that next 150. Get your get a forge while that's going on so you can you know get another cannon if necessary behind your extra gates as well as future cannons. Um, and then get a cybernetics core and a gas as well because you want to be able to start that warp gate research as soon as this finishes and actually kind of start chrono boosting it out. Uh, just in case he is actually going to be going for a big attack. And if he's trying to expand and macro behind this, um, there's no problem whatsoever with just chronoing out, uh, getting out your warp gate. So then you can get some units to kind of go check out exactly what he is doing right there. So that's basically going to be it. Um, my name's Mr. Lum. I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you guys in my next video.